Army scientists are squeezing more power from batteries by developing new methods and materials with incredible results. Our battery group has recently uh, developed some new materials that could potentially increase the energy density of batteries by 30 percent. These are the scientists working on energy and power solutions for America's soldiers. This 30 percent is actually quite a big deal because typically improvements range around 1 percent per year. For years, Army researchers studied how batteries work. They looked at how each component interacts with another. At high voltages, batteries are extremely energetic systems. And so there's never been a battery, a single cell that operated at 5 volts. Through our understanding of that interface, we were able to design an additive that you add into the electrolyte. So now the battery is able to operate at 5 volts. Scientists are calling the electrolyte additive a quantum leap in battery research. It's been two years since the discovery. The lab filed patent applications and told the battery industry about the research. Some of our new strategic areas that we're looking at is designing systems to allow ubiquitous energy, energy anywhere for the soldier using indigenous sources, so materials that they happen to have at hand. So some of our very new programs are looking at can we make fuel out of water. Army research has the potential to reduce battery weight and allow soldiers to carry more ammunition or water. Our main goal is to support the soldier. We have an exceptional group of scientists here. We've been able to retain them. They have been sought after by many people, but their ability to do good research here, research that can make a difference, um, has allowed us to attract and retain really top talent. In the future, Lundgren hopes they don't just make better materials, but rather design new types of power and energy devices undreamt of today. From the Army Research Laboratory in Adelphi, Maryland, I'm David McNally.